And today I'm gonna be giving you guys the best clothing hacks that I've ever heard in my whole entire life These have actually changed the way that I get dressed every day and like put together outfits These are things that I wish I knew earlier It makes your outfits look so much better And if you're in a crunch like your belt is too big or you need to crop a shirt These are things that you should know just in case of a fashion emergency <laughs> These are things that I found on Pinterest and TikTok that you might have seen but they're so so helpful And if you want more videos like this then subscribe and I also have a whole Whole, like fashion and outfits playlist on YouTube that you guys can go check out so click the eye for that and let's get right on into this video so these are for so many different types of clothing items I'm going to start off with folding jeans so like folding clothes and actually putting them away you know usually you just kind of like fold them in half and then you just go like boom boom and then you put them away no 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 don't do that there is a way better way to fold them so what you're gonna do is you're gonna lie them down like face down or crotch down <laughs> butt up and then fold the bottom legs up one third and then fold them again one third fold the butt crack together <laughs> so fold them from the bottom up and then from the bottom up again and then put the butt crack together this doesn't make sense and it'll be so organized and like file folded so I don't know it just like literally changed the game for folding my jeans and they won't like come up and they're not like super thick and it's just so easy to see what like jeans you have the next thing is when you are trying to put on a bracelet by yourself we've all been through that where we're like fiddling with it and then it like falls and you have to like turn it that way and that way and it's literally not going on I have the solution for you so you just take a paper clip a handy dandy old paper clip and you'll put it through one of the hooks and then just hold it with your other hand and hook it on you don't need any friends to put jewelry on which is really really good in my case no I'm kidding I'm kidding that's really simple but it just helps you so much oh my gosh this one is so it hits it hits home to me because I wear so many halter tops like one of my favorite tops from Maritzia is this top where it's black and then it goes in at the neck but if you wear a regular bra with it you're going to see the straps with this hack if it's like a bra that you can take the straps off of the back unclip them and then clip them together at the back I know that you could just technically like cross them but sometimes you even see it at the back again if that makes sense so clip the two straps together and then pull them tighter and put it around your neck and it will literally be like a halter bra while you're wearing a halter top tell me a more perfect thing probably can't but yeah this one has helped me so many times and it's just so simple okay this one has to be one of my favorites and I'm probably gonna end up saying that for every single one but when you're folding your jeans I'm actually the queen of folding jeans because my legs are this big so when I buy jeans are usually too long when I'm folding them at the ankle and I also like really like the look of folded jeans because also I bought these new socks guys and they like the Nike dry fit ones I've wanted them for so long I finally invested I like when my socks show like below my jeans so I'm rolling them right and when you roll them sometimes they're not like tight to your ankle which is one of my pet peeves but you can also do this with sweatpants and practically any other type of pants but instead of just folding them up like you normally would pinch both sides together so it's like tight to your ankle and then fold it and then fold it again and it'll just be like tight that tapered look which makes your pants look so much better there's also another way to roll your jeans that is kind of cool and I actually never thought about this but I also roll my leggings because like leggings can be really really long on me too so like my Lulu leggings I used to just like roll them up like how I would roll jeans and it kind of looked weird and it'd be like bunching and just like weird you basically take like halfway up your calf or whatever and you pull the leggings or the jeans up and then fold it over the top part and then you grab the bottom part and fold that under so there's no like bunching and huge like ball at the bottom it's just kind of like flatter so much better like so much better also whoever came up with these like is smart but I don't know why I haven't found out about this before like I feel like this should be common knowledge because a lot of people have the same problem as me comment down below if you have the same problem where you have to roll up every single pair of pants that you have I have been tying my shirts in a knot like at the front for as long as I can remember I just love the look of that but there is a way better way to tie a shirt basically you roll it vertically down so you make like a little cylinder you just kind of keep rolling it until it's tight and then flip the bottom part up and tie it with a hair tie it can be any hair tie whatsoever make a little ball and then tuck the excess underneath fold it under and it looks like a shirt that's just been cinched
pinched on the inside. It looks perfect and there's no ball like hanging out of the outside. If you are without a hair tie, there is another way that you can tie your shirt. You basically take both sides and cross them over and pull. So like take both sides like that, like cross your arms first and then pull over. And then you're going to twist one and then put the other side in the other one and it'll stay. That is so hard to explain without the actual video over top. But when I put the video over top, you guys are gonna know what I mean. And it looks really, really good. If you're in a pinch and you just wanna tie your shirt, that is the best way to do it instead of like actually tying a knot in the front. It's way less bulky, love it. Also, I like to do like the DIY crop a tee and I usually just like tuck it into my bra, but sometimes it's like uneven on each side and then it could like bunch underneath and be super uncomfortable. So if you have two hair ties, there's a way better way to crop a shirt. So if you're gonna take both sides and tie it with the hair tie and then tuck them under, that's literally it. And then you have a cropped shirt and you didn't even have to crop it and you can still have that oversized shirt. I love these hacks. Like I'm very very thankful for them. This one, once again, hits very close to home with me. Basically all of my belts are too big. Like they never have a hole that fits me. I usually just have to wait till I go home and poke a hole in the belt, like a new hole, and then just use that. But if you are in a pinch and you don't have a pokey hole thingy to do that, what you have to do is put the belts on like you would normally and then instead of putting it through the hole, put the thing under the belt and then put it back through the ring. It's gonna seem weird at first, but then tuck the belt under and then put the belt through the slot that you just made. This one isn't really a hack, but if you wanted a cool way to switch up how your laces are tied, this one's really, really cool. Basically, you're going to make a loop from the inside to the outside of the shoe, just in each lace hole. So do that until you're at the bottom and then do it on the other side. And now you're going to cross the laces and put it through the hole that you just made. And it does this really cool like zigzag pattern on the inside. I don't know. It's a really cool design, but I never actually thought of like switching how my laces are done because I was scared that if I took them out, then I wouldn't know how to like put them back on the <laughs> same. If you have Air Force Ones or shoes that are creased, this is the way to decrease the toe box of your shoes and it actually works so well. And I saw this on a TikTok and I was like, there's no freaking way that works, but it actually does. You're going to stuff the toes of it, like the toe box with paper towel and make sure that it's like really stuffed so that it like sticks up and there's no like, if you push it down, it won't move. Then you're gonna get a damp cloth and put it over top of the toe box. Doesn't really matter what type of cloth it is, just like put it over top. What is this? Like someone actually tell me what's wrong with my hair. It's like I look in the viewfinder and it's just never doing what I want it to do. Anyways, get an iron and then put it on medium heat and then go over that damp cloth and make sure that you keep moving it. Like don't put it on too high of a heat and make sure it's always moving. This is going to smooth out all the creases and it's gonna make it look as good as new. After you're done ironing, you're just going to press and smooth out the leather so you're like smoothing out the creases. I recently needed this because I actually bought like crease protectors for my shoe. So it's like a plastic thing that you put inside of your Air Force Ones or other shoes and like it it's supposed to make your foot like not bend and the shoe not bend so they don't crease but they're so uncomfortable and I can't wear them so I had to take them out and I was like well I guess my shoes are gonna get creased now but with this trick like I don't even have to worry about that this next hack is if you have a shoelace but you don't have a belt but I guess it's if you don't want to wear a belt because you feel like a belt would ruin the outfit which I honestly understand and that's pretty much why I don't wear belts other than the fact that they're very uncomfortable so you take a regular shoelace and tie it through the back three belt loops and just tie a knot at the back and then tuck it under your pants and it literally looks like your pants fit you perfectly like there will be a little bit of a fold at the back just because of like the lace and the position of it so you might see like your pants folding in at the back a bit keep adjusting the pants until you can't really see the lace and it literally makes your pants look like they fit you perfectly and it's kind of cool last tip is if you have a belt and this happens to me so much because I put it on the smallest hole so you usually have a lot of belts like hanging off and I hate that but sometimes it doesn't reach the freaking next belt loop so it's just hanging that's literally one of my biggest pet peeves ever so take a hair tie go underneath the belt and then put one side under the other side and pull tight and then twist that and put it over the front part of the belt and it will stay down like it won't be like jiggling it'll just like stay down and it's all just flat and constricted that's gonna be it for this clothing hacks video there are probably way way more I just found these on like Pinterest and TikTok and these are ones that I I would a hundred percent use and like have been using subscribe and press the notification bell if you want more videos like this I hope you have an amazing day and an amazing week. I love you guys so much and I will see you in my next video. Bye